Hey guys, Thrasher here, and today we're looking at the upcoming Extreme Legends Battle Royal. We're going to look at one specific team today. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so the team I want to talk about is sort of a hybrid team. It's generally built around two characters that are about to get balance changes in the Frieza Force characters, first form Frieza and third form Frieza, but it's a, it's a hybrid, Frieza Force and Lineage of Evil, because you're also going to be running this yellow chilled right here. So this guy, he's the one that actually makes the team. Let's talk about this a little bit more. So if we open this up and we go to ability, this is absolutely insane. And I didn't really realize this before because he wasn't running on a lot of very viable teams in the current pvp meta but with the change to these two new characters and the fact that the lbr is extreme only he becomes very viable so let's look at the very last thing here it says 20 percent chance for allies to inflict paralyze upon landing a blast arts hit for 30 timer counts when this character is switched to standby so what that means is when you switch this chilled out and you switch in any other lineage of evil character that character has a 20 percent chance to paralyze the opponent with every single blast arts card that they use for 30 counts so what that means is if you're running a team full of the lineage of evil characters which both of those freezes are then you're almost guaranteed going to paralyze the entire other team set of characters that means that you can pretty much do whatever you want at that point now beyond that let's factor in that out of all these characters that you're going to run you're going to run the chilled that i just showed you you're going to run this Frieza right here, first form Frieza, and then you would run third form Frieza. If we back out and look at this, this is ordered by number of Blast Arts cards that they hold. So they could hold up to two Blast Arts cards. You'll notice that both of the Friezas hold two apiece, and then the Chilled holds one, plus he has a Strike Arts card. So out of the six possible cards, five of them are Blast cards. The two top characters, the Frieza and the third form Frieza, are both Blast based. And then the Chilled himself, I guess you could sort of call him Blast based, but he's generally more of a support character. So the idea here is you run those three characters as your main units, and then you run the yellow EX Frieza, who is first form, you run the blue EX Zarbon, and then you run the green EX Dodoria. Those are all going to give you huge buffs to the Frieza Force team, which won't really buff your chilled, but it will buff the two characters that just got huge buffs in the first form and third form Frieza. They're pretty much going to be your damage dealers anyway, and the great thing about this is you have a nice color wheel going there with the blue, purple, and yellow. If you happen to run into another another yellow unit that you think you're really going to have trouble with, you can actually pull the third form purple Frieza out and you can substitute in the yellow first form Frieza so that way you run the yellow chill, the yellow first form Frieza and the blue first form Frieza and then you have an actual color counter team in yellow yellow blue. So this team should have immense damage potential, it has very good color counter uh, flexibility and it's going to have tons of control because this card right here, if you look at his green card, which is about to get buffed, it's Telekinesis. So it immobilizes the enemy from short to medium range. It costs 34. That's the real problem. It's about to get reduced down to a cost of 10, meaning that you can use it constantly in almost every single situation. The only issue is you can't use it at long range, but I think it's fairly easy to get to medium to short range and use Telekinesis. And if you time it right, you can just wait till someone comes in for a Strike Arts card or something else and you can Telekinesis them on the way in. So this is an extremely powerful team. I think it's very possible that this ends up being the very top team in the Legends Battle Royal. With that being said, it's not guaranteed that it's going to be the top team, but I can almost guarantee you it's going to be very, very competitive. So if you have all these characters, you probably do. The only one that might be an issue is the Chilled, the Yellow Chilled, who is the one that makes the team. So that's pretty much going to decide whether or not this is the team that you want to run. If you have the Yellow Chilled, this team is pretty much 100% good to go. If you don't have the Yellow Chilled, this team is still going to be powerful, but not anywhere near as powerful because you won't have that passive ability when you switch the chilled out to allow you to paralyze the entire other team. So you guys let me know what you think. How powerful is this team going to be in the Legends Battle Royal? I just want to bring it to your attention. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.